Atlas Toys and Collectibles. We are in Lincolnton, North Carolina. It is time to check out the store. I am so excited. Let's get this hunt going. We are on the road. Kempool collects. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What is up? You saw it. We are in Lincolnton, North Carolina. Uh, we are just a little bit early before Needless Toys opens up. So we're going to do a little Walmart run here in Lincolnton to see uh, if there's anything new at the Walmart store before we go in and check out uh, Needless toys and collectibles uh remember with needless give them a call give them a ring if you see anything that uh, you need to add to your collection thank you all for uh the support and watching our last video and i think y'all are going to be pleasantly surprised with the new additions to the shop the new stock so we're definitely going to have some fun at uh, needless toys but again if you see anything that you're interested in give them a ring they're uh, awesome awesome people in uh, lincolnton north carolina if you're looking for those mythic legions they are a official retailer with uh, four horsemen so uh, get on over there and pick you up some Mythic Legions plus all kinds of good stuff. Uh, you know, I'm going to pick up some Legions, so stay tuned to see what I scoop up. I'm not buying the entire wave today, but uh, I'm definitely going to pick up some pieces and we'll take a look at them. But let's start off with Walmart. If you haven't already, jump into Kent Pool Collects. We're having a lot of fun here on YouTube. Also over on Instagram, Kent Pool Collects. Let's go see what we can find in Walmart today. Let's go. Walmart, Lincolnton, North Carolina. Here we go. Through the door, we got a little bit of clearance. Still got this uh, Optimus Primal. There is our Master Mordor. We also got King Shazam, $15. Got some of these uh, Wonder Woman for $15. I think they're all the, uh, the gold print. But uh, looks like that's it for toys. Let's go see if we can find the main toy aisle. In our way to the main toy aisle, we got uh, super powers. Got the big old pallet there. Couple vehicles. Got our first wave of figures. And nothing on the McFarlane side. Got a few more maybe clearance items. Yep. Little clearance tags and main toy aisle. We got some dinosaurs. Good amount of dinosaurs. Still got a good amount of light here going on. Transformers, Starscream, Soundwave. Got some legacy boxes there. I see a croc master kind of hanging out in the back there there's that optimus primal again we got a few mcfarlane green lantern batman legacy black panther some basic figures going on there's our spider gwen little spider-man little miles there a couple page punchers some more super powers as well Got uh, some little DC people. Obi Wan. Got some Black Series. Got a few Black Series figures there. Dangar. A little bit of our Star Wars squadrons. X Wing going on. Some TIE Fighters as well. Ara Singh. 
Uh, let's see what else we got here. A little bit of extra dinos. And some Hot Wheels, not looking bad. Look at that little guy, little helmet on wheels. That's interesting. Definitely some neat Hot Wheels. Got some five packs, a little bit of Disney, a little Jurassic World going on, big old city track. Look at that. Uh, switch up your color reveals, Hot Wheels City. Got some Matchbox going on. Parts, moving parts, rigs, got some Action Force bit of monster trucks there Mario Kart and cars Hot Wheels skate little DC little Marvel not bad not bad let's hop back over on this side and you can see all kinds of squadrons little Mario going on there as well Minecraft and some Pokemon uh, let's see a few Fortnite figures a little bit of Avatar as well Masters of the Universe some more Fortnite there's Papa Shango Million Dollar Man very cool. I have yet to see um, The Undertaker. I don't know if he's like coming in his own case, but there's some AEW. Maybe, uh, maybe just everybody is scooping up The Undertaker. This guy, <laughs> I think like we've seen him at every Walmart now. Brock Lesnar, that's pretty cool. Some Shawn Michaels as well. Some of our Series 93, some basic wrestlers. There's another Hangman. Got a John Cena there as well. Some Predator, some Aliens, and a little bit of Piggy. Let's see what else. Five Nights at Freddy's, little Among Us. Let's uh, go see if we can find some Nick of Funko at uh, this Walmart. I knew there was like one more little spot shelf. So we got some Marvel Legends here, the X-Men wave. I don't know why <laughs> this happens, but it uh, seems like they always have this little spot. Um, I don't know if it's just, I mean, the Marvel Legends could have totally been in the aisle. But we got all of the different X-Men. We got General Zod, which uh, I scooped him up for that head sculpt. Definitely a good head sculpt. And then we got a Batman here. So yeah, definitely uh, look around. We got a Karrion Cross hanging out with the X-Men. Definitely look around those Walmarts. Make sure uh, you find all the stuff. We got uh, collectibles, all kinds of Funko Pops. Sorry about the light, just the way that they're in the plastic and then the light hitting them. Post Malone, What If, Marvel. Got uh, a little bit of Mortal Kombat. Some Whitney Houston, all kinds. Sir Mix-a-Lot, so a lot of different pops this morning. Britney Spears. Got some Funko Gold as well. Best action. We got the Shredder. Got the Foot Soldier. Bunch of Turtles. Kiss. All kinds of best action this morning. Uh, we got Turtle Packs. So, little Casey Jones Raff. Restock. Shredder and Splinter. So looks like all kinds of two packs with the NECA. Got some different characters. There's our April, Raphael, got the Wolfman, either colored or black and white thing. Aliens, 
got a little bit of Dragon Ball with the two pack. Demona, so, so many things to choose from. Flash Gordon pack. This is a pretty good collector's area. Look at this, little Mickey Q fig. Nice, pretty cool. A little bit of Dragon Ball. New World Order. Got uh, the white stripes, a lot of artists. Uh, Funko this morning. And we got a few more over here. Black Adam, Full Metal. Yeah. Alchemist, little Funko, little producer or artist there. Got some LeBron James, like little All Star. It's like maybe an All Star. Maybe it's an alternate Lakers jersey. But uh, quite a few Funko Pops this morning. Got the big old Funkos there. And then we got just a few more pieces of uh, the Guardians, some more artists, and a couple anime gizmo, Walmart. Finished up at Walmart. Not a bad uh, warm up. McFarlane, little Marvel Legends, plenty of dinosaurs, plenty of Lightyear, uh, squadrons, definitely stocked. Let the squadrons had some Black Series figures if you're uh, playing a little bit of catch up there. But uh, no pickups, tons of Funko Pops, all those uh, different artists. Uh, let me know if you're scooping those up, you Funko people getting uh, all those different licenses and uh, quite a bit in the collector's area. Again, if you missed out on that Raphael Casey Jones two pack, I know that was a very exciting pack. Definitely people were after that. So hopefully you're getting a chance to scoop that up for your movie turtles if you didn't already have it in your collection. But uh, let me know what you're finding at your Walmart stores. Again, we are in Lincolnton, North Carolina. So now that we're all warmed up, stretched out, let's go to Needless Toys and uh, Collectibles. See what is new in store. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm excited. So we are back, we're at Needless Toys and Collectibles here in Lincolnton, North Carolina. Find the sign, find the sign. We got the open, it is time to see what we can find today. There's the sign from the street as you're uh, coming in. A little sideshow sold here and a lot of other good stuff. Let's go inside and see what we can find today. So right off the bat, we got our Illith wave. How awesome is this Mythic Legions? There she is herself, the uh, vampire goddess, one of the four horsemen. That is awesome. Look at our little creature here, the Vargas. That is pretty cool. So plenty of those sets in. And just look at all the mythic legions. So, oh man, look at that guy. That is awesome. Got the centaur, got our orc size, or excuse me, ogre size vampire. And uh, just all of our characters from this wave. That is so good, so good. There is the Baron himself, version two. Still got some Vitus if you uh, still picking up some of those older figures, but man, just look at the detail with these new wave. Plus uh, you can kind of remove the chest, which is gonna be awesome for uh, some different customizing and building. There's some more. That is a great looking figure as well. Again, approved retailer by Four Horsemen. So you're gonna get awesome, awesome deals on these figures. There is our vampire, the horse, Probus, and the moose. 
So I know no ears on it in the box, but uh, this guy is definitely awesome. Get those uh, big old horns on there. But everything from the Illith Wave. If you are in the Carolinas, north or south, still got some trolls you uh, definitely want to visit here and scoop up all of those mythic legions we're going to come back towards our door and you're going to see all kinds of loose figures got some different ships there some masks so you uh retro play all kinds of retro toys and figures Ships, vehicles, Unicron there. Got some Build-A-Figures with the Marvel Legends. Got our Pizza Spider-Man from the movie. A couple Masters of the Universe. All kinds of great stuff. A couple Gray Skulls there. Masters of the Universe looking strong. A couple sets up top as well. Uh, check this out. That is new. Got our 40 years on there. Got a snake mountain. There's some of our He Man. A little, uh, 2000. Those are pretty cool. And then we got some loose figures check out this skeletor that is pretty cool there i got some different releases with our dc so look at this killer croc clay face we got the man bat as well some of our masters of the wwe universe aew wrestlers good mix of figures check that out the wrestling heels and faces very cool rising stars got our hogan undertaker mr t and then uh, there is our loose figures with wrestling check out uh million dollar man that is pretty cool uh, triple h little young bucks tag team titles nice all kinds of elite figures now check this out uh you definitely don't see a ton of these i know people are just enjoying the joy toys and look at these warhammer figures those are awesome so uh again in the area definitely check them out give them a call give them a ring if you're looking for these uh joy toys i know they are not easy to uh just be able to come look at pick up so definitely check those out all kinds of good stuff we're gonna focus on all the transformers uh, no surprise, all of these Transformers always got a full case, case is, of uh, the Transformers and then some of your newer releases in the box, Legacy, all kinds of good stuff. Let's check out some more retro. Ah, uh, there's the WWE ring. That is pretty cool. We got uh, some of our Legos there, some GI Joes going on, a couple of turtles as well, some loose GI Joe vintage. Check it out, our little Marvel. So this is my first time seeing these in person, the uh, Sentinels. These are actually Marvel Universe, but with the size, they actually scale pretty well with uh, the Marvel Legends. So if you wanted like that arcade style uh, fighting the Sentinels, that's a pretty good look there. That's cool. 
Um, let's go around this way and we'll look at a few more legends. Got a two pack there, a little Deadpool set. Got some Marvel Universe. Pretty good. Always a great stock of Marvel Legends. Here's some newer, got our Amazing Fantasy, our Iron Spider. Check out uh, the cap, that's pretty cool. Got our Black Suit Spider-Man. Got our Ant-Man set. All kinds of different Marvel Legends figures for you. I think on the other side here is uh, the loose figures. We'll take a look. Oh yeah, so all kinds of Marvel Universe and all kinds of loose figures as well. So very cool. There's uh, some original superpowers, right? Look at that. That's cool. Some different DC, some Power Rangers, Andre from Princess Bride. Definitely some retro gargoyles there and turtles. Awesome to see. Little Godzilla going on. DC. Got that cool spawn up there. Some Cygore. But all kinds of older McFarlane figures. And of course some newer McFarlane as well. Got uh, Batman with uh, the Bat computer. That's pretty cool. Got like the little suits, costumes there as well. Some different Spawn, Mortal Kombat, all kinds of G.I. Joe. Look at all the three and three quarter inch. So many Joes. Do yourself some, uh, some army building. Look at those little sets up top. <laughs> New Tekken release, Storm Collectibles. Got a little bit of Demon Slayer. Some different Dragon Ball statues. My hero. Very cool to see. And another thing, all these Storm Collectibles, so cool. Also got uh, the Ultraman up there, some other Transformers for you Transformer collectors. Look at that. These are some cool pieces. A little uh, golden axe as well. Injustice. Yeah, those are some pretty, pretty cool pieces. Got uh, some loose figures here in the case. Check out uh, these exclusive goofies. Those are pretty cool. Some hot toys as well. Vintage G.I. Joe, Transformers. Got a few things in the case this morning. Got our Dagobah 1-6 scale, which is crazy. All oh, the Star Wars. We'll see more Star Wars in just a minute. You uh, G.I. Joe and G.I. Joe Classified series. So we got the Alley Vipers, Bats, got some movie figures, Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes. There's your officers. So everything you need, G.I. Joe. And check out all the loose three and three quarter inch and we got some look at this set that is so cool look at all those Joes check out this set that is pretty cool uh, some more Star Wars got some power of the force very cool Got the lightsaber as well. All kinds of 
Funko Pops, so we got Masters of the Universe, G.I. Joe, Star Wars, quite a few Masters of the Universe. A team there. Got a little bit of Star Wars. Very cool, very cool. 10 inch pops. We got a little Marvel black light going on. All kinds of Marvel. Check out, so we got some turtles, Attack on Titan, My Hero, little Tokyo Ghoul, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, all kinds of animated pops. Got the Unicron, Hot Wheels. Look at all the different Hot Wheels. Got a few statues, and we'll finish up with some pops here. So very cool to see all the different Funko, some Disney, some little horror. Got some icons, little sports pops, WWE. Lodian, John Winch, Halo, and I lied, we'll finish on Star Wars. There's some black series. Good thing uh, Greg isn't here. He'd buy all these Death Watch troopers. <laughs> Got some Dengar, some George Lucas release. There is uh, Fett and Cobb Vant, which is pretty cool. Solo up there. Awesome, awesome Black Series figures. And we got some vehicles. Very cool. Alright, I'm going to look around, see if there is uh, more stuff. Actually, there is more stuff. What am I talking about? There is models. All of our model kits. We got uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles party wagon up there, Slave 1. Got uh, some different Lego sets. Check out the gargoyles. Those are pretty cool. Got our Lord of the Rings as well. Turtles, look at these turtle sets. We got the Power Rangers versus the Ninja Turtles. We got uh, Super 7 with uh, the different characters. There's our Thundercats. There is uh, the exclusive Lino. That one's an awesome looking piece. But uh, tons of Thundercats. Check out Slash, a little comic version. Yeah, definitely lots of good stuff at uh, Needless Toys. Turtles. All finished up at uh, Needless. Uh, always spend so much time. It is uh, a blast coming up to Needless Toys. Lincolnton, North Carolina. So did uh, pick up some stuff. We're gonna get back to uh, the garage. I think that makes it obvious that it's Legions, right? <laughs> we, uh, we picked up some Mythic Legions, the new wave of Illith definitely in. Don't know how long it's gonna be on those uh, pegged shelves, so make sure you get over to Needless Toys and Collectibles in Lincolnton, North Carolina. Scoop those up because uh, once they hit that secondary market, it is going to be crazy, some of these prices. So that's why you definitely wanna keep an eye out for the approved retailers and having one in North Carolina is awesome. Definitely has made my collecting of legions so much easier. Uh, eventually they are going to get in the army builders, the uh, deluxe builders. So 
definitely stay tuned for that. I'm sure we'll be back here when uh, those start dropping. But uh, if you want to get a good price on the Illith Wave, you need to get over to Needless Toys and Collectibles, Lincoln, North Carolina. But let's get back to the uh, garage and uh, I'll show you what we picked up today. Let's go. Welcome back. We are hanging out in the garage and a nice Mythic Legions pickup. Uh, thank you to everyone at uh, Needless Toys. Got to hang out with uh, Tracy. So definitely uh, so much fun talking toys, uh, talking legions, all kinds of different stuff at the store. And just a great job of kind of filling in those uh, areas that uh, just needed a few more figures, right? We all just need a few more figures. It's uh, just like collecting. If you find some space, <laughs> you're going to fill it up eventually. So we got our three vampires here. We're uh, definitely gonna take them out of the package, take a closer look. Before that, I did pick up a loose figure and check out, this is Skeletor from the He-Man, uh, what is it, 2000? He-Man 200. I know there's a two in there and I know just like our other figure pickup, uh, definitely a cool design. I believe uh, Four Horsemen worked on these figures, but this is, uh, this is what I was after. So loose figures are a good way to uh, scoop up some accessories and stuff. And I really wanted this uh, Havoc staff so stay tuned to see how we use that with our Mythic Legions. Uh, the swords aren't bad, but um, <clears throat> definitely I doubt that I will use those. And again, it's a, it's a cool design for uh, a figure and everything, but uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the figure. With that said... I'm going to open up these uh, Mythic Legions, our Illith Wave, and uh, we're going to take a closer look. So out of the entire wave, how did I choose these three figures? Well, to be honest with you, uh, I scooped up these three because I am going to be doing some customs with them. Uh, definitely these base bodies are going to be awesome. We're going to build onto our vampire brood mythology with uh, some new characters out of these base bodies. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to uh, working on them and uh, doing some swapping, doing some painting to uh, put together our new characters. Uh, probably the tough thing about today was seeing all the figures and just realizing how awesome they are. Uh, the moose, I believe, will be coming soon from Big Bad Toy Store. Can't wait to share that with you all, but you know, we'll make it back to Needless. We'll get uh, some deliveries from Big Bad Toy Store. And uh, I think eventually the wave will be in our collection. But uh, let me know if you are collecting Mythic Legions. Are you all in on the Illith wave? Uh, I'm not going to go through and, you know, do like a whole review and stuff. There's some awesome accessories. There's some great channels out there that have already kind of broken down these characters and everything and uh, what they come with and the articulation and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, the biggest excitement with uh, this guy and whoops. That is not what I meant to do, but I also didn't think his foot was going to be stuck to the plastic. With this guy and with our Baron, uh, the chest plates are actually removable now. <clears throat> and uh, if you recall, we got those chest plates from 
Wolf King Customs. So I am excited to kind of play around with those and see how those get together. And those are going to be a big part of the characters that we design. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, comment, and share. Let me know what you are picking up. If you've been to Needless Toys, definitely let me know in the comments. A lot of fun. Definitely enjoy Needless. If you saw something in the video that you would like for your collection, definitely uh, give them a call. All the information will be in the description. But... Uh, you made it this far in the video. If you haven't already, subscribe, jump in. We're having a lot of fun here on YouTube. Also over on Instagram, Kent Pool Collects. But yeah, let me know if you've been out to Needless Toys in Lincolnton, North Carolina, and your experience. Uh, let me know if you're going to make a trip out there. If you are in the Carolinas, I'll tell you what, it is worth taking a day going and just checking out some of the different things and I bet you you'll find something that uh, you really need in your collection at uh, Needless Toys and Collectibles. Thank you to all of our subscribers. Y'all are awesome. Love the comments. Definitely enjoy reading them and uh, replying to you all. Channel members, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. And until next time, always be hunting, have fun collecting.